I think I gotta stop making videos in the rain. Welcome back foodies, Leo here, full-time foodie. We're putting in overtime this week. It's fucking raining, I'm back in the motherland. In this video, we're about to try Korean barbecue in New York. Not for the first time though. We'll talk about it more when we get inside and out of this rain. Took some shelter from the rain here. This is what the inside looks like. It's pretty cool. There's a bar area on this side. And I saw at the entrance there was also a photo op opportunity. All right, this is our seat here. I like that they have this uh, little vent going up, right? I know some Korean barbecue spots don't have that. All right, so I just got seated here. I started off with my uh, miso hot pot. Um, I have to go check out the appetizer and the sauces but you get a two hour limit. So I want to order all my stuff. And uh, hopefully by the time the food gets here, then we will go check out the appetizers. All right, I order a bunch of meat. Let's go check out those appetizers. All right, this is the area over here. They got sauces too. I got to grab a sauce. Let's see what the appetizers are. I see spring roll. I see those shrimp crackers. I don't know what this is like. I don't know if it's chicken or something else. Let's try a piece here. Two pieces, one of these spring rolls, cake for later, and I need to grab a sauce. Yeah, back in time, all my, all my shit is here. Oh, sorry. You know what? I like that it's like just the right portion. I've been to some Korean barbecue spots and uh, if I'm just, them by myself. I feel like the portion is way too big. Portion size. All right, so the sauce, um, it never comes out the same, but it comes out pretty similar. I put garlic in there, uh, the samjang, the soybean paste, cilantro, raw garlic. I don't know what else. <laughs> All right, there's everything going on right now. I got my soju, lychee. We're about to get into that. Mushrooms, couple of veggies, you gotta be healthy. There's a sauce I was telling you about. All right, this is my, the Japanese miso broth. I got the beef belly cooking over here and the pork belly. So two types of bacon. I actually never had beef belly before. So I'm excited to try that out. And down there, I got the short ribs. Show you. They got the shrimp dumplings here. Put it into the hot pot. The veggies, I want to grill them, so let's wait for that to finish up. Lychee soju, I'm excited for this. So, today's actually my birthday. That's why I'm here. And I don't usually drink except for on my birthday, so cheers. Pour one for you and one for me. There you go. Let's go for the first one. Oh, that's so smooth. I could literally just drink this straight from the bottom. So smooth. Oh, tasty too. <laughs> All right, I gotta turn these a little bit. Try this spring roll. It's crunchy, but I don't know. For some reason inside, it tastes really mushy. I think these are like maybe frozen. I don't think they're making these fresh. And also, of course, when you pull one set of meat out, throw in your next one. Because while you're eating it, the other one's cooking. Time for another. Oh, yeah. Really nice. We'll get that for something else to drink. Let me ask the lady. Ma'am, do you have uh, unsweetened tea? I do. Can I have a unsweetened tea? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Unsweetened tea's on the way. This is... I'm going to have to order more meat, I think. How it's looking so far. I want it to crisp up a little more. You know what? The Mayard reaction. going to give it more flavor. Try out this uh, beef belly. I'm gonna see her on there. I wanna try it by itself first, because I've never had it before, like I said. Cheers. 
Mm. Wow. Thank you. It's fatty. Interesting. It's a uh, fatty. Almost like the bulgogi, the thin slice. Remind, but this is fattier. This is uh, much better than the sliced ribeye for bulgogi. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That really tastes amazing. Mm. I didn't think it was gonna be that good. All right, in between, let's try this. I don't know if this is chicken or pork. I didn't see any sign there. Okay. Like a fried chicken nugget. For real chicken though, not some weird processed paste. <laughs> I don't need to order more meat. I thought the portion sizes were gonna be too big. Now I was kind of like reserved about it. But now I'm gonna go a little crazy. <laughs> Let's try their signature K pot pork belly also. It's a thicker cut, that one I really like. Let's take these dumplings out of here. I'm hoping they're done by now, actually. Let's see. Let's see if these are done. Hopefully, I'm not biting into this raw, raw dumpling. Mmm. -hmm. It's not raw, but it doesn't really taste too good. It's got like a strong, odd taste to it. Don't get these. Damn it, I ordered more too. Shit. All right, going for another. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> I'm gonna throw these veggies on there to grill up. These are the short ribs right here. Try these out. And we got these grilling up, like I told you, the veggies. Just got a second order. And that one had those shrimp dumplings that I didn't like. I put them in here. And this is their specialty pork belly. Just two slices. I'm gonna have to get more of that. And over there, we got the, the garlic shrimp. And of course, my favorite so far, the beef belly. The beef belly. I love that fucking beef belly. Shit's fucking amazing. But let's try these short ribs for now. Ooh, look at this. I'm burning my hands for this scene right here. I <laughs> like this here on there. Let's try it out. Wow, that's actually pretty good. We're back. I had to change the battery on it. Um, all right, these things are grilling up. I gotta flip them. That one's not ready yet, but we flipped it. See, I might move this one over here. These, if you never had these enoki mushrooms, these are amazing. It's kind of like, the texture's kind of like a noodle, and then you char it up. It's like charred noodles, like nothing you ever had. <laughs> these short ribs. A little tough, but good flavor. Almost like, like the bulgogi marinade, like a sweet soy sauce. I wanted to try one of the dumplings with this sauce I had created, see if it makes it any better. Yeah. I don't like that at all. I don't even know what the hell that is. It's like a, like a seafood paste kind of thing. It tastes nasty. And I eat that. Mm. Short ribs are good though. The grilled enoki mushrooms, like I said, it's like a smoky noodle kind of. It's really good, really good. I forgot I have some more beef belly over here. This is amazing. This is the most prized meat here so far. All right, the lady just changed my grill. Now I'm kind of confused. I, I do want more of the beef belly, but I, I want to try out the shrimp over there and that. Let's do those two first. And then while those are cooking, I got all my grilled veggies to eat, plus a couple more short ribs. Let's get into the veggies. Let's dip it into the sauce. Woo! Here. Mmm. Damn. Bottom. 
Fox killed it. If your kids don't like veggies, bring them to a Korean barbecue. Grill it and make a sauce. <laughs> so remember in the beginning, I said there's a two hour limit. Uh, they didn't give me a timer, but I went through one battery. One battery lasts about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna say that's how long I've been here, maybe close to an hour. So we're at the, we're at the midline mark right now. Time to try these charred enoki mushrooms. Let's see, I'm gonna try a little bit first with no sauce. Mm. Oh, wow. Maybe I could have charred it up a little more, but it's still really nice. Let me dip it in the sauce here. Just a little dab. Mmm. Wow. Two thumbs up. I forgot all about my unsweetened tea. It was supposed to be my palate cleanser in between the soju and the food, but totally forgot about it. Now I'm starting to feel stuck <laughs> after the veggies. <clears throat> Cheers. I'm getting the meat sweats too. It's starting to warm me up. I, I, I feel like it's super cold here in New York now that I've been gone for so long. How's uh, everything doing? Everything's great, man. You like it? What's your yeah, I love everything. What's the that? soup? Uh, yeah, well, I did both, but I, I, I like this. The beef belly. The beef belly? Oh, yeah. it's so good. You're the first time trying it. Oh, you do it. Oh, no, yeah, I'm grilling it. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you got miso soup? Yeah, the miso soup. <laughs> you want any noodles or anything? No. no, I'm good. I'm good, yeah. I'm starting to get full now. <laughs> How's it taste? For, you got the short ribs. How's it taste for short ribs? Oh, short ribs were amazing. It almost tastes like the bulgogi, right? Oh, it's it's a little bit sweet, yeah. Yeah, try everything. You'll like it. It's good. I right, love awesome. it, though. Thank you, man. But it's finished, I'm gonna change your grill, okay? Okay. You want me to help you? Oh, you don't, you just changed it. Yeah, I just burned it down. Yeah? Okay. But you want me to help you or you okay? What's that? You want me to help you or you said? No, yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay? I got it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. All right. They're gonna change my grill again. Uh, I don't think it needs to be changed yet. They just changed it, but they're saying because of that, I think it could go through another round. Let's try these shrimps. They look really good. They smell good. It really smells like garlic. It said garlic shrimp too. All right, nice. Look at this. I wish you could smell it. It really smells like garlic. Really strong garlic aroma. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. It had like a second burst of flavor. Like first I was tasting the shrimp and then the garlic came through. Mm. That's exactly what I wanted. Let me dip it. I'm curious. Will it make it better or worse? <laughs> My sauce creation. Mm -hmm. Oh. I definitely took it up another level. <clears throat> Gotta take the beef belly out. And the other pork belly. I feel like the grill is much hotter than last time. So maybe I can char and crisp up this uh, beef belly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Meanwhile, I have this whole plate to get through. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. This is their specialty marinated thick cut pork belly. Mm. Wow. Mm. Cut. Kind of like that same marinade though. It's kind of like a sweet soy sauce. It is really nice. And it plays really well with the sauce here. I also think that my time is up right now too. So, <clears throat> gonna be the last of it. I got one more, one more shot here. I got a little more left over too. <laughs> well, look at this. Little beef belly, huge pork belly. I'm like a mad scientist. I'm mixing up the bellies. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. You're gonna have to give me a minute for this one. All right, now I feel like I can act presentable. <laughs> That's amazing. That's an amazing combination right there. Well, the first Korean barbecue that I ever had was actually with my coworkers. We went to a spot in Flushing. I can't remember the name of it, but I'm gonna flash it right here. I thought that was actually really good. The only thing that they had there was they had like um, 
I don't know what kind of beef rib it was. I don't, I don't know the name of it, but I'm going to put it right here. That beef rib, they slice it really thin against the bone, and then they throw that on the grill. That's what I really love there. It was like my favorite. Everybody's favorite. The two. I think we got two or three orders of that one. Here, my first time trying beef belly, I'm telling you, it's amazing. It's incredible. It's just like, it's like eating like, like, like a little bit of the meat and the fat from a ribeye, but like crunchy, like super seared and fatty. It's, I can't compare it to anything else. You need to try it. The point I was getting at is that I feel like this place is better than what I had in Flushing. And a lot of people were saying that that's one of the best. I have to wait for the check. I got a little sip here and one more shot. Ooh. It's nice. Hey, this is so juicy, so fucking smooth. I mean, I could drink this shit all fucking day. Happy birthday to me.